Hey everyone, I'm the Exile Tai, and welcome to a guide on how to build Tail 2. She has some interesting features that make her a great unit to consider using. In this video, I'll be doing a general overview of Tail 2, covering her stats and personal skills, as well as potential allies and counters. Then, I'll showcase some standard builds and unique builds. As always, if you enjoy the video and want to see more, then subscribe and leave a like. I do a lot of Heroes content, and there's more to come. Now then, let's get started. Here I go! Tail 2, the Thunder Noble, is a blue tone infantry unit. Just from her stats, you can easily tell what type of unit she is. With solid attack, high speed, and low defenses, it's crystal clear that Tail 2 is an offensive unit. She's going to hit pretty hard and hit pretty fast, just like Lightning. Her HP is rather good at 39, not many units in her class have super high HP. Her res at 25 is okay, it does have a super asset to reach 29, which is decent. However, it's not exactly the best IV to go for when she could benefit more from plus attack or plus speed. So let's take a look at her when she's fully maxed out with plus 10 and max dragon flowers. Her HP is looking much better at 46. That does make up for her lack of defense at 23. 31 res is not incredible at full max, but hey, at least she can take a magical hit and maybe use Iceberg. Though, with her other stats, Iceberg might not be the best option. While her neutral IV attack stat doesn't break 40, it's still very good, especially with her personal tome, which I will get into later. Speaking of very good, 42 speed is fantastic and really fits someone who embodies lightning and thunder like that. It can be boosted even further, so Tail 2's doubling potential is very large. But I can't only praise Tail 2. Here's a comparison with other gacha blue tome infantry units. While Tail 2 can match them in terms of speed, she doesn't have the same attack stat like they do. It's also nice that she has similar stuff to Ishtar. Going back to attack, both Lindy and Delphia have weapon finds that give them plus 5 attack and speed when close to a certain type of ally. Tail 2 doesn't have the same effect, but her tome does have Wrath, which would help her special damage output rather than general damage. But this comparison is kind of unfair. Tail 2 is available at 3 and 4 stars, unlike these 5 star exclusives, so it makes sense that she might not have the best stats at max. Not to mention, being a 4 and 3 star makes it easier to build Tail 2. It's much harder to get those other units, so you might not have them at max. In which case, Tail 2 will exceed. For a better understanding, let's also compare Tail 2 to other units that are easier to obtain. Fallen Delphia has the same attack and speed stat, but they're just reversed. Their stats are remarkably similar with only a few differences. Personally, I would say Tail 2 is better due to her higher speed. You get more damage off if you can double rather than just do one hit. Brenya and Renee are not close in terms of stat line with Tail 2, but I included them to help establish the fast offensive role of Tail 2. Brenya is more focused with taking magical hits and dealing heavy damage. Her speed isn't as important to her unlike Tail 2. Renee has great speed and decent mixed bulk because her role as a support unit needs her to stay alive. She can moderately take a hit from both physical and magical while having the speed to not get doubled. She is not made to be offensive or have high damage like Brenya or Tail 2. So this Thunder Noble has some pretty sweet stats and is very accessible. But what makes Tail 2 unique is not her stats, but rather her skills. Tail 2 has the Tome of Thoron, which has a Wrath effect. Having Wrath in the weapon slot rather than in the B slot is very useful since you can pair it up with other B skills like Desperation, Vantage, or Lull. In fact, Tail 2 can't even get Wrath as a B skill normally since it's exclusive to melee, infantry, or armor units. So she's rather unique being able to use a skill that other blue tome units can't use. The refine effect is Darting Blow, which gives plus 6 speed when she initiates combat. And because of this and her stats, it's clear that Tail 2 is an offensive player phase unit. Most of her builds should focus around that idea because that's where she will excel the most. If you do want a different type of build, she can use a different refine for the Tome of Thoron, like the General Speed one, to mix up her builds. Wrath does work in enemy phase as well because all that matters is the special. You can also go back and not use the Tome of Thoron, but the prerequisite, Blar Blade. Blade Tomes can get explosively powerful and are rather easy to use. They do come with flaws like Panic Status or if the unit lacks a method of getting visible buffs. So, Tail 2 has a lot of potential in Wrath and Darting Blow in the player phase or Blade Tomes in other phases, but she's going to need some allies. Fallen Recruit inflicts damage on its allies which can help Tail 2 get into Wrath range. 
She also excels at speed and doubling, so some allies that can help with that are great. Selena has a very strong tome that allows her to debuff any foes within two spaces of her. And of course, dancers are amazing with offensive player phase units. They just keep taking lives like it's nothing. Some counters to tell to are healers. She doesn't want to get healed too much, otherwise she gets kicked out of Wrath range. Some characters like Marita are incredibly fast and make it hard for Tell2 to double them. Not to mention that Marita also has Close Call, which also helps reduce the plus 10 special damage from Wrath. I also made a skill guide on Close Call and Repel, which you can check out in the I card right there. Well, if I remember to put it there. Another powerful counter are green tanks like Brave Micaiah. It's going to be hard for Tell2 to win against her. There is somewhat of a good side though. Wrath does apply the plus 10 damage no matter the defense or res, which can help against Micaiah. Now for builds, if you have other thoughts or builds for Tail 2, feel free to comment them down below. Let's get these standard builds out of the way. Fury works really well with Tome of Thoron since the recoil can help get into Wrath range. Life and Death might make it a bit riskier to leave her in enemy range, but Tail 2 does have high HP so it might just be enough to get into Wrath range. Doubles with Sparrow is best, since it pairs with Darting Blow Refine. That way, she'll get plus 8 attack and plus 14 speed. That's very good for doubling tons of foes. The other skills don't matter too much. You can keep her Rally Speed res if you want her to support when not attacking, but a movement assist works too. Sadly, Rally Speed res plus is only on Legendary Elliewood, who also has Death Blow 4 and Ardent Endurance All. An amazing support skill because it gives bonus doubler. That's a big investment to tell too, and you should only do it if you plan for the plus 10. Moonbow is an all around good special, and it helps against high res units. You can swap it for Glimmer or something if you think her attack power is good enough. Whatever it is, as long as it's in an attacking special, Tome of Thoron will boost it. Standard Blade Tome sets are pretty much the same as the last three sets. Attack Speed Push can also run with Tome of Thoron, and honestly, it might be be even better with Wrath HP Condition, and unless you're running a different refine for Tome of Thoron, just use Blade Tome if you're considering a Close Counter Vantage set with Tail 2. To be honest, I don't really like Close Counter Vantage sets for Tail 2. Her attack is not amazing, and she definitely needs some support or the power of Blade Tome to help her get the one-shots. Not to mention, her speed isn't as important in Close Counter sets like these, which kinda hurts since it's one of her best stats. Now for some non-standard builds. Thanks to Wrath, she can run an AoE spam build with Special Spyro. Once she gets into Wrath range and has her special ready, the spam begins. Use the AoE special and attack. The special cooldown goes from 4 to 3. Special Spiral will decrease it from 3 to 1. And on the next turn, Wrath will activate and decrease it so she's ready to use another AoE special. And then the cycle just repeats from there. Hardy Bearing prevents Vantage units, which can be dangerous. Once she hits her AoE, she can support with Drive Speed for allies to take advantage of the AoE splash damage. Drive Attack might be better, but Drive Speed is already on tail too. This set is not as consistent as Ophelia, and that's because Tome of Thoron doesn't accelerate the special trigger like Mistletane Tome does. You can use a different refine for Tome of Thoron, but with Darting Blow, she can have more speed to prevent, or at least decrease, the effects of Close Call and Repel. Next build, Ray Striker. Huh? Could it be? Number one Beyblader, Masamune? Uh, I'm just kidding. With the power of the boosted special, plus 12 attack, neutralization of res bonuses, and the minus 3 res, Tell2 has enough power to one shot a lot of foes. And that piercing power reminds me of a certain special move. Anyways, Sturdy Impact prevents the foe from making a follow up attack, while Darting Blow helps her get a follow up attack. It also has extra defense, just in case the foe lives, but can be replaced with mere impact for mages. Mubo can also be replaced with other specials like Glimmer or Rupture Sky, it's just up to personal preference there. The next two builds don't use Tome of Thoron or Blade Tome, but rather other blue tomes that can work with Tail 2. Juicy Wave has Desperation built into it, and that works really well with Tail 2's offensive stats. Now, you can run both Desperation and Lull to ensure more doubles and increased damage. It's just a very simple offensive player phase build. This one focuses on support that increases her fellow mage's damage. She can rally to get the Ruse debuff, and then stay close in the front lines to inflict Flora Guide's debuff of minus 5 speed and res, all while spreading drive buffs. 
and if she needs to attack, so Sparrow can help with that, or you can use Sturdy Impact for the extra defense. You could also run Infantry Flash and then have Dry Speed in the Seal slot. However, that means all your allies need to be fast units, which sometimes this team composition doesn't end up like that. That covers the builds that I thought of. There were some skills and weapons that work really well with Tail 2, but I couldn't really think of a proper build for, so I just made this list instead. There are offensive weapons, like the Vessel Cheer or Spooky Sensor that work pretty well. They're very simple, and you can just stack Swiss Sparrow or Brazen Attack Speed with Desperation, and that's it. Solo skills are great too, but they have the same explanation for Vessel Cheer. You could also run Serpent Tome or Blue Gift. They're more suited for the enemy phase, but Tail 2 does much better in the player phase. They're good skills, but maybe not the best for Tail 2. I only included one Ruse build, but I gotta say, Tail 2 coming with Rally Speed Res is perfect for running other Ruse skills. Pain skills work too, but they're only one stat rather than two stats getting debuffed. You could also run Mystic Boost, however it shouldn't be with the Tome of Thoron. Mystic Boost has self-healing, which might interfere with the Wrath HP condition. I think it would be good though with the Blue Fox Tome. At plus 10, if you think your HP is high enough, you could run Infantry Pulse so she has some extra utility. Though I think it's better to just run Dry Speed or upgrade it to Joint Dry Speed. And that about covers it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have other thoughts or builds for Tail 2, feel free to comment them down below. Also, shoutouts to... I, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but thank you so much for recommending Tail 2. And yeah, you can find me on Twitter at exalt underscore Thai for random stuff and updates for new videos. And with all that, stay hydrated folks, and stay safe.